Okay, hello everyone, this is Mr. Albronan here again, and today I'm going to be going over Mirio in My Hero Wants Justice 2 Remix Edition. And just like everyone else, Mirio is of course way more fun to play with in this version of the game than the vanilla version. So, Mirio in this version is kind of like the pre-patch version of Mirio, before he got all the unnecessary nerfs that made him like absolute garbage in the current version of the game. Now he actually still has pretty good pressure with his cancels and stuff. They haven't slowed down everything and lowered his damage so that he gets like 8,000 for a, you know, dash cancel combo, which is completely ridiculous. And even though he does even more damage, now he can actually get more damage and with less dash cancels. Because he can actually get meterless combos now and he's able to link a lot of his things together, yeah, just with, with zero dash cancels. So, some examples of those things are, his silk quirk 2 is now a useful tool because you don't have to put a dash cancel just to get combos off of it. Which makes sense because you didn't get much damage off of it either way. So now the fact that you can get damage off of it meterlessly um, makes up for the fact that it nerfs, that it scales the damage quite a lot. A another thing that he can combo off of meterlessly now is his tilt work 1. And this is a big one because this means that he can get combos that are like this. Even the regular classic combo that we used to all do with the dash cancel, now he can do for free. And now it doesn't do 8,000 damage, now it does actually... Yeah, 10,600, so that's pretty beefy damage for a simple combo with zero dash cancels, so yeah, good stuff there. And another change is actually his air attack string actually puts the opponent into a bounce state, which yes, means that you can combo into the, um, into the tilt quirk 1 if you're fast enough. And then you can combo off of that again. And that leads to some pretty awesome combos, and it also means he has combo ability from the air, which isn't something he used to have before. Like, usually, in the regular version of the game, we have to do stuff like this in order to get damage from the air, which is pretty low damage and leads to meaty blow early. But now he can, as you saw before, actually get combos from the ground. And using that extension actually gives you different combos, and you can do stuff like this now. You can actually do the attack string, and then go back into the ground, and then do this. There we go. Which is similar damage, it's a little bit more, but... Come on, it looks so cool having the being able to use this thing where he like dives into the ground and comes back up twice in a combo. That's really cool. And like where you launch the opponent onto the ground and then like uppercut them from below. Because you know, permeation quirks are awesome. And yeah, that's what his new BNB combos look like now. And uh, there's a few other little changes to the hitboxes of certain things. Like for example, his quirk 1 now does less damage. But it actually launches the opponent higher in the air. So if I do something like this... It will actually launch them into the wall. So I can get some kind of combo like this. Oh no, that meteor blow is too early. But you know. Using this is that it's really good that this is actually a good um, wall splat tool now. So he can actually has a ch chance of getting wall splats. Um, I'm going to fall off the wall now, aren't I? <laughs> but yeah, so that's a really good tool. And obviously in the air, it also means it's a very good wall splat tool. And unlike a lot of wall splat tools, it actually works like even when you're right up close to the wall. So a lot of things, like even if you're, face if you're right up against the wall, sometimes they don't work correctly. But this one does. So even if I'm right here, it will launch Bakugo into the wall and I can get a combo going. And there we go. So see, he can get really big damage, and the Quirk 1 doesn't, um, isn't a heavy hit, so it Meteor Blows less, um, like less frequently, so it's less likely to have a Meteor Blow effect. So yeah, it's just really cool that he can actually get Wall Splats consistently now without having to like perfectly time his Quirk 2, which honestly was like really hard, because you have to be in the perfect like side of the screen and yeah, have the perfect spacing and stuff. So yeah, it's really good that he has that proper Wall Splat tool now. Um, yeah, oops, my controller disconnected. And also a, a slight nerf to Mirio, but I'm sure we're all okay with it, with all these buffs that he got from the mod, um, is that his plus ultra one can now actually be recovered out of, so now even if he's like right against the wall, he can't combo off of it meterlessly, because the opponent can just recover off of it, and then you can't, you know, get your uh, zero dash cancels or zero support combos now. But yes, he can still combo off of it. So if I do something like this, uh, oops, and I just go into my plus ultra. I can combo off of it using it someone like Tamaki in this version of the game, because Tamaki actually extends combos now. I can just do something simple like this. I'm sure there's something more optimal you can do by like landing on the ground or something. But even that like simple combo I just did there did 18,600 damage. Uh, yes, please. That is huge damage. So, so I guess that also fits in really well with Mirio. 
Because if he's not having to spend meter on his combos and stuff, if he's able to cash out on a plus ultra, that is really useful for him if he's going to get 18,600 damage if he can confirm into a plus ultra combo. So, uh, yeah. That's basically Mirio now. Here, let me see if I can do a proper wall splat combo. Yeah, okay. It's a bit hard to do from the ground because they get like wall splat really close to the wall so you can't actually land there. Which is a little bit annoying, but if I do something like... Like, even that's pretty good damage. And if you had a combo where you go into the air, like, if I'm over here... Uh, let me do a combo from, like... So I'm facing a wall, I'm doing my combo. Oh, damn it, we turned. <laughs> Put him in the wall. And then, yeah, now I can actually get a combo going. And get something like that. Actually, I probably could have gotten even more if I did something like this. That didn't work. <laughs> but yeah, the point is that he can actually get wall splats when you realize you're facing against a wall. Um, I'm not very good at labbing combos on the spot. But yeah, obviously, he'll be able to get pretty good damage depending on what you've done already in the combo. And even if you just did something like this to finish your combo, you know, you add a nice extra chunk to the end of the end of the combo. But uh, yeah, so his plus ultra damage is really high, his regular combo damage is really high, and it's just really good that he can actually get conversions off of any type of hit now, uh, if you do the quirk on fast enough. There we go. So yeah, now, even though it's not huge damage, he can actually get damage off of his air attack string, which is super handy, because that's not really something he had the privilege of before. And so yeah, now he's just a lot more of a, a solid and well-rounded character, like he still has his like anti-neutral tool where he comes in and with with the uppercut now he can actually sidestep before he hits the ground which is handy still makes it a little bit annoying that it's hard to punish but uh, we'll take what we can get and now he has really good combos yeah he's just a really fun character good plus ultra one combos and uh, yeah this is the Mirio that we had at the start but honestly even more enjoyable than the Mirio we had at the start of the game honestly he has better combos he doesn't have to dash cancel for like very small damage and uh, yeah, he's just a solid version of Mirio that I feel like we all deserve after Mirio's gotten all of these unfair nerfs. <laughs> but anyways, thank you for watching all the way through this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in another one. Thanks for watching. Bye. Well, see, doing a plus ultra 2 is like the same damage as doing a plus ultra 1. So yeah, I definitely go for a plus ultra 1, guys. <laughs>